Let's go make some uh, corn simple syrup. First thing we need is some corn. Corn. Drain the corn. Take two tablespoons of the corn. Mmm. Yummy. Next time you go to a bar, order a corn shot. The bartender will either kill you or quit. And now we add it to the saucepan. I used a, a can that's too big, so I'm only gonna use half of this. This is... Newport Foodie, what are you making me do? Three quarters of a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of water. And bring to a simmer. What I really like about this drink is that it's almost like you know, a type of performance art, because the only person who I would expect to see boiling corn, water, and sugar in their kitchen is someone who is already pissed drunk. I feel like Newport Foodie is just gonna have me make progressively weirder drinks until he eventually manages to get me to make, like, bathtub hooch. Wow, that is roaring, baby. So apparently I have to do this for 15 minutes. Personally, I think that's overkill, because the corn looks like it's already dead. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing with a cup of corn simple syrup. I think I'm gonna be having a lot of this cocktail over the next few days. Honestly, I should send Newport Foodie a picture of this. Yo, Tion, check this out. Alchemy. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now I have to muddle the corn kernels. I don't have a muddler, so I'm gonna use the end of this uh, pasta rolling pin. It looks fucking heinous. It smells great though. Now we strain it. And now we bottle it. It smells like movie theater popcorn in here. It smells like butter. You can do a little bit of this. Mmm. Hell yeah. Corn in a bag. <laughs> I'm gonna smash the bottle. There we go. It'll, it'll finish on its own time. <laughs> Here, Louie. We're doing a Louie check. Louie check. Yep, and he is. Come here. What do you think, Louie? Is that good? You want some? You want some corn juice? Little man. Oh, he does. He's going in my shot glass. You can't have that. Hey, Louie, you want a shot? Yeah, delicious. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Mr. Man. Mr. Belly. <laughs> Tiny little bath. Oh. Dunk him. We're gonna dunk him into the simple syrup. Tell us the answer, Louie. Where's the stash house? Okay. The magic sauce is complete. Mmm. Looks delicious. Now we're gonna chill it outside. Just yoss that. Right in there. Perfect. Yeah, Doc, we got the sample. He looks dehydrated. Holy shit, I am doing like chemistry. What is this about? Okay, corn into the cocktail shaker. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I got my cod piece. Let's go. Corn into the cocktail shaker. Two tablespoons of corn kernels. Half an ounce of corn simple syrup. Man, that was a lot of work for this. I'm gonna have to detach my cod piece. I think this is an ounce. We'll say it's an ounce. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of this. I think I'm gonna be making this cocktail a lot or I'm gonna have to find more corn-based alcoholic drinks. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Mm. Milk the lemon. Portugal the man. <laughs> One egg white. Do I look like a fucking dairy farm to you? I can't wait till I can have some dairy chickens. Who came first, chicken or the egg? Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you what's gonna come first. Come on, girl, there we go. No, no eggshell. Eggshell bad. Eggshell not for the drink. Though, I'm sorry, is my can of corn in the way of the egg thing? No, fuck me. No, that's not the right part. That's not white. It's the yellow part. Uh, emergency. Uh, put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I have paper towels in here. I wonder how many episodes in a row of awful archaeology I'm going to make uh, until I stop making a mess. Yeah, raw egg on my hands and on the floor and on the table and on this glass and on my shoes. What? Think I fucking revving a snowmobile out there?
My man sled in. He's sled in. I wonder if he wants a shot. I got your love to keep me warm. I will weather the storm. What do I care? I've got your love to keep me warm. I should upload an uncut version of this to YouTube as well. We got an egg white. I'd say it's about five eighths of an egg white and about one thirty sixth of a egg yellow. Two and a half ounce vodka. Okay, now you're speaking my language. One, two, and a half. Holy shit. That's a lot more than... I haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that. What the fuck? What do I care? I got your love to keep me warm. Uh, okay. Add core kernels. Cocktail shaker, muddle, I don't have a muddler, sorry. Add the remaining ingredients, shake vigorously for 30 seconds. You know, that's what I'm best at. Oh yeah, that man Milo, that guy, that guy can shake vigorously for 30 seconds. Don't do that. Oh, fuck me. Okay, two, two episodes in a row of me spilling shit everywhere. Okay, don't shake it too vigorously or someone might get hurt. Thankfully, I have enough ingredients to make another one. The squirrels are gonna have an absolute party in here after this episode. There is so much milk and egg and vodka on the floor. I will weather the storm. There's egg and vodka on the floor. Ooh, it actually polished the floor real nice. I should get more of this. Now we add ice and shake it again. It's like you want me to die. That's not ice. This is ice. Okay, I got a good grip on her now. It's supposed to be in a coupe glass, but I'm doing it in a martini glass because I don't have one of those. You're honestly just kind of lucky I'm not doing this in a solo cup. Garnish with a corn cob wheel. Okay, I draw the line at a corn cob wheel, mostly because I don't have one. If I did have one, I'd go the distance, but I don't. And so I've planned ahead a little bit. A little Louie hair. That's actually beautiful. Oh my God. Moment of truth. Uh, I'd like to give a big thank you to Newport Foodie for designing the drink for this video. Uh, go check him out. He makes a really beautiful video making this drink that's a lot more elegant than mine, and he deserves more credit for it. Now, bottoms up. Stop me now. Damn! I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that much corn going into an alcoholic drink, I had my doubts. But that is fucking delicious. Mmm. It's like a enhanced whiskey sour. That's so good. All right, guys, I have a challenge for you. I want you to look at the drink from this video and the process that it took to make it compared to the drink from last video. I want you to guess which drink was made by a professional mixologist and which one was made uh, by a frat basement mixologist. I'm saying again, uh, you're just lucky I didn't put it in a red solo cup. Okay, wow, that's fucking lovely. I'm stoked about that. That was almost worth, worth the eight hours of prep time it took. Really glad I decided to put my laptop away, but I am keeping these over here. <laughs> I've got your love to keep me warm. Okay, 